My name is Marcy Towns. I'm the Associate Dean for Leadership Excellence in the College of Science, and I am the Bodner Honig Professor of Chemistry at Purdue University. Oh, well, great. Let's talk about the anatomy of a firework. So first of all, you have a tube that the charge goes out down into, and there's a fuse, and you ignite the fuse. When the fuse burns down, it hits a black powder charge that propels the firework up into the sky. And it also sets off a timing fuse. And as that timing fuse burns down, what then happens is the middle of the firework ignites, and it ignites the material in it, and it explodes out into beautiful colors and shapes that we call fireworks. Fireworks are colored based on the chemical compounds that they are composed of. So if you see a red firework, it has strontium in it. If you see a beautiful yellow firework, which is pretty common, that has sodium in it. If you see a green firework, it has barium in it. If you see a blue firework, and blue is the hardest color to make, it has copper compounds in it. And then last but not least, the sparkles that come out are uh, pieces of aluminum, titanium, and or magnesium. So sparkles and flashes are created based on the particle size. And these particles are usually aluminum, titanium, or magnesium. If they're a really fine, powdery particle size, then it's a flash. They burn really fast. There's lots of surface area, and it just goes. If it's a little bit longer, and you're seeing them sparkle as they drift towards the ground, it's just that the particles are slightly larger. So sounds are also part of the full body experience of a fireworks show. Big booms are created by having a powdery substance that rapidly burns and releases gases and it. It just, it creates a sound wave that sounds like a big boom. And frequently, there's also little tiny pieces of aluminum or magnesium or titanium to do a flash. So it's a bang flash kind of thing. Um, but there are also whistles, and whistles are really cool. It's a different material that you pack into a tiny little tube, and as it burns and goes out of the tube, it creates a whistling sound, almost like you're um, blowing across the top of a bottle. And then there are things that crackle as well. Those are actually bigger particles that are made primarily of bismuth, and they fall out of the sky kind of crackling.